Uh, if I was going to move away from PDS games, which games would I gravitate to? Oh, shit, I don't know. Um... Let's open up me me Steam library. Um, I know what I'd like to to do is I'd love to be able to play anything and still get really good viewership. Um, that's really fucking difficult though. Um, hmm, it's a good question. It is a good. Question. Probably something like Total War, more than likely. Fortnite, yeah, sure. Um, is Humankind rude to say in this stream? No, I love Humankind. I think it's a fantastic game. Feel feel free to shill for Humankind here. Ready for Celasta to come out of early access? Yes, Celasta is amazing. I love that game. I'm so down for that. Uh, I'd love to be able to do more D&D stuff on my channel. Because I've, um, very, I'd say very recently, I've only been playing D&D about a year, but I fucking love it. I'd love to be able to do some D&D stuff on the channel. Other than, you know, just Celasta. Anyway, uh, let's attack Oinoit. And yep, he's got some friends, but that's fine. Fuck it, you can come help. They've refused the bastards. Oh shit, he doesn't even have a fort. Big sad for his face. I still enjoy Stellaris, but between E4's issues and Imperator's status, it's hard to keep shuffling money to them. Yeah, I, I, I understand where you're coming from. It is... It's a whole thing. So you're being full Enix. Just, just, uh, just a friendly bit of advice. You probably should have had a fault. I just had a character come to my nation called Your Mama. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, no, that's that's character name, alright. Oh, yeah, let's uh, try and destroy this fort again. Where is it supposed to be? Is it in the water? I got, like, a level 2 fort here and I can't delete it. I don't know. Is it four out of five? Yeah, so this fort definitely exists, but like, I, I, uh... Like, it is my land. Yeah, it is mine. It's not like it's just not my land. I don't know. I really want to like Hoi 4, but it's not clicking for me. I don't like Hoi 4. Uh, Hoi is definitely not my game. You're the same with Crusader Kings. I've never... Uh... <laughs> I like Crusader Kings, but I've never been a, a big Crusader Kings person. Like, I like it, but I don't like it like it. Which is strange, because, you know, the aforementioned love for D&D &D is like, oh yeah, CK3 is like D&D &D meets EU4, or D&D &D meets Imperator. You know, it's, it's, it's literally that, like, character-based... Roleplay heavy, but I just, I just don't. Oh my god, will you stop fucking running? Hey, more faith. Gotta love it. Did I just make you a rival? I should probably remove you as a rival. That is Conquering of Oropos. I get five Cycladic Fury... Uh, inferior men. Yes, perfect. 
Uh, so now we need to acquire uh, Chalkis, which I need 750 manpower and I can do. I do, I do think that um, manpower being the currency used to uh, colonize is an inspired decision. I do think that's really, really handy. Um, I also like that manpower is so much more limited than it is in the base game. Because, let's be honest, manpower in, in Vanilla E um, Imperator is incredibly irrelevant. Also, I love that I sacked this city so hard it ceased to exist. Sucks to be you, I guess. Uh, do I want to keep the most... No, let's get rid of the mercenaries now. They, they've served their use. Uh, so let us... Oh, I could, yeah, I haven't built any settlements stuff yet. Um, I guess just build me more bazaars, because they're freaking great. Including here, where I've got fucking magic forts. This would be good for a fort. So this is good for a fort. Like, it's a really good place. Elian is also pretty damn good. Actually, no. Probably isn't. You'd want to build one here. And here. Or here. Here. Here is better. Um, are wonders possible to build? I believe so. Let me just uh, trade in that and we'll have a look. So I've got a spare building slot here. We could totally build... Yeah. What do we want here? Stab change? Monthly ship repair at sea is just really, really good. Uh, and obviously, you'd want one gold and then two stone is like the, the best way to go about it. You need precious metals. Um, but precious metals are possible to get, right? That is a thing that is possible to trade. You've probably got to trade. Yeah, the precious metals are in there. And we have them. So yeah, I guess I guess uh, we could just save for a wonder. That works. Just trade in all of the things. Uh, you've got only one trade. Oh, that's not enough. Six trades there. That's better. That's more like it. Give me the dies. Shit, now that guy had a lot of dies. Uh, I believe that is all the trades I can do, though. Nope. More there. Of course, it is Sidon and Tyre that has all of the dies. Although, didn't there used to be a country here called Tyros? It's fucking dead. Oh no, it wasn't Tyros. It was the uh, y y y Israelis, Israelites, the y Israelites. Pretty sure that was the case. Hen and Nasut now is just conquering the south. They're gonna hit Waset, and pretty sure it took me way longer to do this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit shown up here. I disable the pop-up we're now trading in. That's probably a good idea. Probably should break that one as well. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. <laughs> that is a pretty annoying one. Uh, you're losing loyalty. Oh no, we've got we've got culture problems for the first time. Actually, you've probably all got culture problems. But no religion problems because yeah.
It just, uh, yeah, it just makes this, this, this specific part of the game is very one-dimensional. All right, let's get these guys murdered as well. How did you see you have cultural problems then? Uh, sure. Um, I have these clicked, so it shows the percentage of this province that I have accepted culture in. So 11% of the pops here are accepted because, you know, 11% of them are cycladic, which is my primary culture. Um... So I noticed that that was low, and therefore I need to start assimilating. Um, and the same goes for religion. Also, I will point out that this used to be like this. No, you used to not even have the number when you hovered over it. It was just gone. And you want to know? You want to know which... Absolute cookie, the, the 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 best of the cookies, got that implemented in the base game. Yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, we could build the engineering wonder effect. Also, build roads. Can you build roads in this mod? Is that is that a thing that we can do? Uh, let's have you go here. We build roads. We need civic advances of four. Yeah, that makes sense. No, greater than four. We need civic events five. So, not yet. Um, you bought the game on release and returned it. It was so lost in what to do and took no pleasure in learning it. Then I came across the 2.0 update and saw the reviews and took a chance. Yeah, uh, I, I can totally understand people not enjoying the game on uh, the, the 1.0 launch. I did enjoy it, but I certainly can see why one wouldn't and... The game is just way better now. And now you're enjoying it. Honestly, your your story is not unique. Uh, a lot of people felt the same where, you know, oh, I didn't like the 1.0, but now it's really good. Yeah. Got me some martial advances, and you just got murdered. Get ourselves some sweet-ass urban planning. Which is... Two building slots is nice. More food. Proper promotes faster, pop capacities up, just straight up good shit all around. Some building slots here have increased. I mean, that's probably, yeah, if there's only one building, that seems like a good one to build, you know. Uh, I'll also build a theatre. They're limited to one each. And that's citizen happiness. We may as well build one of them as well. Let's get one of everything. Oh yeah, and you can get pieced out, because screw you. And here, don't believe I need those. Honestly, at this point, I don't really believe I need any buildings whatsoever. But mm. Alright, and I also want to spend the levies. Good stuff. Thera is looking pretty mighty fine, so it is. Have you done a tutorial on all the innovations at all? Um, did I do one on tech? Uh, I mean, I need to like I said, I need to continue doing my um, my tutorial series. Can't remember. Uh, I can't remember where I ended that. Or not ended, but what I did in that. Uh, yes, I do, actually. I do have a... I don't have a guide to li literally, hey, ev this is every single one of the uh, inventions and where to go and what you want. Uh, but I do have a kind of overview of tech, how it works. So that might be of use to you. Where do I want to go from here? Like, Hippocost might be good. 
down here, like in this little gap, if you in if you embrace a Greek culture, there's some really good trade benefits. But like, there's no Greeks, so I don't know if that's going to be a thing we can do. Um, maybe if we integrated some Aeolians, if there is any of those in my nation, <laughs> there are not. Yeah, I mean, we've played what maybe. I don't know, is it 100 years, maybe? Uh, no, definitely not 100 years. We probably played 24 years, if I was to guess. I don't know. Um, but we've we've conquered perhaps a dozen countries. Can, can you imagine having just a single, like, no scroll bar on your cultures list after that long... And after that many conquests. I mean, there's countries that start with more than this. I'm pretty sure Rome starts with more cultures than this. And they only own, like, a single territory. Uh, want my cloud saved from Macedon? I started with the Antigone Kingdom. I love playing as the Antigone Kingdom going into Macedon. But uh, you, I don't need the save. I have... I think my... my uh, campaign as the um, Antigone has just finished, like very recently. What do we want to? Mm, we could go and looking for things that will in, uh, give us better wonder bonuses. But like, what would that be? What would I need? And go military advances and start making my military better. Yeah, let's do that. There's a province investment to start with. And we could spend that on pop capacity. Spend it on pop capacity. Yeah. Works for me. I'm gonna build more harbors. Can you not have a harbor? You've got one. Okay. Makes sense. That's not a city, so I think Oino should be the city here. So you can now have a harbour. Uh, you've probably already got one. Where the fuck the harbour go? Oh, because it's not a fucking coastal province. Ah, uh, what about if it was here? No, this definitely doesn't count as a coast, never mind. So you've got one, but you know what? I think this is a better place. Oh wow, someone just died that I was trading with. Um, mm -mm -mm. You have a harbour already. You... You know what, this seems like a better place. Harbour. Okay, a lot of my trade is, is going away. Probably because of what I'm doing, but it's fine. I mean, harbors are just so good. Why would I not? It, there needs to be a trigger for, is there a harbor in this province? I mean, the issue there is, um, you would wait until somebody has conquered... Sorry, has built their own harbor before you conquer it. Um, you, I think what you would need to do to fix that then is have all harbors get destroyed when a conquest occurs. I think that'd be the only way to fix that. Oh, your loyalty is actually pretty low. You're moving your capitals, which is affecting your trade. Oh, yeah, no, that's true. That is very true. But I, it's going to go up again. So it's fine. Uh, oh, shit. Copper available. I'll have you import earthenware. All of the earthenware. What else has lost its trade? Are the harbors only effective 
if it is the provincial capital. Am I actually doing this for no reason? Other than maybe the citizen ratio? Only that citizen desired ratio is city specific, so I suppose that's right, that's good. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's actually giving me the extra trade routes. I mean, we've got 20 trade routes here. Only plus four from the harbour. Yeah, so actually it doesn't fucking matter at all. What I'm doing there is completely useless. They've thought of everything. Uh, what did I just lose? Did I lose anything there? I mean, I don't have double wine, but I don't really care about double wine. I would get reeds. Reeds are good. They make... Oh. I'm pretty sure reeds used to make your spearmen better. I mean, build cost is okay, I guess. Bitumen's also build cost... Uh, get furs for the experience decay. That's nice. Uh, let's get double dyes, though. New Master of the Guard. And a new Baotian Governor. God, you're all shit. You. I use order trade. Don't have the patience to be trading all the time. Um, yeah. I mean, the issue with that is, um, every time you conquer a new place, you have to go and fucking turn it on and I kind of just got used to you know, doing it myself also you can make sure to get the expensive shit because if you do just auto trade like it might end up Jesus, you've got so much uh, it, you might end up with uh, a whole bunch of like fish or so is 0.2 the cheapest yeah. You basically you'll end up with a whole bunch of shit. And obviously no one wants that. Yeah, uh, so, you know, building all those extra harbours. Yeah, don't do that. That's not an exploit at all. It's, it's just pure stupidity. Don't be like me. There's absolutely nothing for you. Lovely, but we're making a shit ton of money. We're all good. Um, we've got enough to get another colonization. What is my next mission? Conquer Caristos. Yeah, we just need to colonize. Uh, we've got two more civilization technology points, which is fucking lovely. Again, I don't know what to go for. Maybe that's census data. That's a priv uh, province investment as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, and here, we want those scribe schools. So that cost me two. But now we can build a scribe school, which is local research points plus 30%. Noble happiness and desired ratio. Like, that's just all round amazing. So, yeah. Scribe schools literally everywhere we possibly can. That's going to be the new money sink. Because they're just really good. Eh, fuck it, let them fight. No care. It is a lol don't care moment. Alright, but uh, with that, I am going to put a pause and a pin and a cut in there. Uh, because I'm getting tired. So, I want to thank you all very much for watching. It's been a pleasure streaming for you fine folk. Um, if you want to go and check out the Bronze Age mod, it is on the Steam Workshop. Uh, the, if you're watching this on YouTube, there will, of course, be a link in the description uh, for it, and I urge you to go and check it out. Um, if you are watching on uh, Twitch, I have just put a link in chat. Go check it out, rate it up, favorite it, do all that good stuff. Uh, give feedback on the things that you think work, on the things that you think don't work, all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, should definitely, definitely uh, go check it out. Uh, but anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.